the hidden threads between the Jal, Bermuda, and UFO's book by author Muhammad Isa Dawood, translated, summarized, and recomposed by Dahman Biruba. My book, Beware, the Jal is Ruling the World from the Bermuda Triangle, sparked a lot of controversy and intellectual responses. I also received many messages in which no one objected to what I wrote except for two responses. This is my second book about Dajjal, titled The Hidden Threads Between Dajjal, Bermuda and UFOs, which I composed to correct some of what I put forward in my previous book and to confirm some of my ideas and theories. Likewise, to show the hidden links between the Jal and the Bermuda Triangle and the mystery of the flying saucers and UFOs. In addition to another fact, which is that the Jal is delayed until the day of his known appointment and that he is a Samiri, whom Allah mentioned in the Quran and the maker of the sedition of the Golden Calf. And I have read the entire Torah and did not find any text mentioning a Samiri. And all those familiar with the history of the Jews realized that there was great and incomprehensible hostility between the Samaritans and the children of Israel. But there is a text that I found in the 8th chapter of the Gospel of John that surprised me and dazzled me at the same time. As it refers in a vague manner to a Samiri in a dialogue between the Jews and the prophets of Allah, Messiah Isa, peace be upon him, and the text is as follows. If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. The Jews answered him, Aren't we right in saying that you are a Samaritan and a demon possessed? Samaritan is Samiri in Arabic, and it is related to Samaria, which was the capital of the northern kingdom of Israel. This is the only book in the New and Old Testaments that mentions a Samiri and links his name to Satan, as if the title of a Samiri is a sign of the devil's possession. I will explain everything in my book of rare manuscripts discovered in Palestine about the life of Dajjal the Samaritan. What I present in my book is a collection of theories and information that no one has published before me. Not because I am the greatest sage in the world, but because I searched a lot, traveled and ventured. Chapter 1. The Family and Birth of the Samaritan Boy now we will travel through time to a small village disgraced by the Hebrews called Samaria, where a son was born to a married couple from the dynasty of Judah after 31 years of their union. It was the most harmful thing to them as described by the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that his eyes sleep but his heart does not sleep. It is an unclean family that worships idols, fathers and grandfathers. They used to humiliate themselves every day and offer offerings and wine to a cow idol that does not hear or speak. When they return to the idol, they do not find their offerings, so they believe that this was a sign of the gods' approval of them. But in fact, it was the accursed Satan's approval and their everyday request and supplication was that they have a son. Until Allah Almighty will that the wife should become pregnant from her husband, who both were born from incest. And Satan was participating in the husband's intercourse with his wife. So the sperm of the human husband mixed with the sperm of Satan of the jinn in the wife's belly by Allah's decree. One night, the couple heard a voice speaking to them from the side of the co-idol. 
saying that he had commanded the angels to give them a son, but if they did not prostrate to him much and offer offerings, he would replace him with a female. So they begged him that they wanted a male child, so he asked them to present a sacrificed cow before him as an offering to him and not come to him all that night. Satan knows that sustenance is in the hands of Allah Almighty, who gives the male or the female. But he took advantage of the lust of these ignorant spouses for a male child. So he made them disbelieve and prostrate to him instead of Allah Almighty. And if the newborn was born a female, he would have claimed that they did not obey him as they should and that they were not sincere in their false worship of him. This story was not written by me, but was written on rocks in the town of Irbid in Jordan. These stones were stolen from their place. It is not known where they were taken, and there is no trace of them today. But what was engraved on them remains in the memory of some of the people of Jordan who inherited this story from their fathers and grandfathers that tells the events of the birth of a boy who was created after 30 years of marriage. And this newborn was one-eyed and always asleep, and he would only wake up to drink the milk of his mother, who had a big body and breasts. And Imam Ahmed described in his Musnad the Jels family saying that the Jel's father was tall and muscular, his nose was like a beak, and his mother had a fat body, tall hands, and huge breasts. Then the mother died because her son stopped breastfeeding with her, and she was afflicted with milk retention in her breasts. So her body was poisoned, and she died, and her son was the most harmful thing to her. As the Prophet Muhammad told us, peace and blessings be upon him. The boy was constantly sleeping without movement until his father thought that he was paralyzed and unable to walk. So he began bringing offerings to the gods, thinking that they were not satisfied with him in order for his son to recover and wake up from his nap. One night, the boy moved after four years of stillness and sleep, and his father used to give him goat's milk every time he woke up. So the boy would drink a little, then go back to sleep again, and his father would check on him from time to time by examining his heartbeat during his coma. Suddenly, the boy began to move and crawl on his four limbs, trying to walk on his feet until he stood up and was able to walk on his feet, as if some spirit possessed him and helped him to stand. The child with defective eyes was possessed by the demon of the cow idol, who led him to the front of the idol and made him sleep there. When his father woke up from sleep, he found his son lying in the arms of the gods, and he could not understand what was happening. And the father told the residents of Samaria about his son, but they did not believe his words and were surprised at the matter. Accusing the father of the one-eyed boy that it was he who carried the child to the idol. And many went to the father's house to seek blessings from this wonderful child. The ruler of Samaria heard the news of the child. So he ordered his father to be brought to him, to address him, and force him to confess the truth about his son. And that he was the one who moved him to the side of the idol. But the father denied this accusation, saying that his son moved himself from his place to the idol. So the ruler of Samaria ordered his servants to imprison the father, and declared that there is no god but him and ordered the execution of all those who worship the idol of the cow. After the father tasted the severe torment of the soldiers of the tyrant ruler, 
he submitted to his desire and confessed that there is no God but the ruler of Samaria. So the evil ruler ordered the release of the father from prison and forced him not to leave the place with his son. So this son was the most harmful thing to his father, as the prophet told, peace and blessings be upon him. The story of the child spread in Samaria and its environs, and the ruler of the town thought that the child was possessed by a demon. So he sought the help of magicians to expel the spirit that possessed him because the ruler wanted to protect his throne. And the people of Samaria began to call the boy the Samaritan or a Samiri. And the two letters Ra in Arabic and Ria in English meant the town in the time after the flood. As it is the town of Sam, the son of the prophet Noah, peace be upon them. And Sam is the founder of the city of Samaria. When he was a child, he could not move until an angel came to him and taught him to walk. And this one-eyed child is the descendant of his grandfather Sam. Some of the people of Samaria began to call the boy by the name of little Sam, the son of the big Sam. But the ruler of Samaria ordered that they stop mentioning this name, or they would be punished. Instead, the ruler announced that the surname of this child would be a Samiri only. The suffering of the father of the Samaritan child continued, and the ruler of the place and everyone around him accused him of madness and lying until life left his weary heart. So this child was the most harmful thing for his parents, and he has never made them happy except on the day of his birth. And there will be no good in him except that he is a trial for people, so that Allah distinguishes the bad from the good, for this is what Allah created him for.